Good evening, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0. Marty Miller from Houston, Texas, uh, with another bonus video for you. On the screen is my uh, DocuSign dashboard. Um, I've gotten into this by going in through Command, uh, through Opportunities, and then through one of my specific opportunities and got into DocuSign. I wanted to show you today, I did have um, a person reach out and ask me how they can add more than two buyers or two sellers to a transaction. So I wanted to show you how you do that. You don't necessarily add them to the transaction. However, you do have the ability to add their initials and signatures. So let me show you how you do that. Uh, this is one of our rooms. This is the actual test room that I did a previous video on. And you can see we're in the details section of this room. And let's just say um, buyer wise, right? We've got the sellers in here. So there's Mickey and Minnie. We come down, there's Annie agent is the listing agent. And then we have buyer number one is Donald Duck and buyer number two is Daffy Duck. Uh, let's say Huey wants to buy this property with Donald and Daffy. There's nowhere to put buyer three for me to list Huey Duck. However, when I come in to the actual envelope, I have some opportunities there. So let's click on documents. And we're going to click on the radio button at the top left of this one to four family contract. We're going to click on the pin to get into the DocuSign envelope and signing kind of area, if you will. So once we click on that, it's going to pull up our initial envelope. So we would change this, right? 16, 635, worker missed, buyer docs. Um, we have the document that needs to be signed here. <clears throat> and previously we would click on add recipient. We want the pre-tagged roles. So we do want buyer one and two. The nice thing about using these pre-tagged roles, it's gonna drop in these initials and signatures wherever it is called for, for buyer one and two. So we're gonna add those. However, we do have a third buyer. So we need to come down to click on add recipient and then email address. Once we do that, you can see we get a third box available and I can come in here and type in Huey Duck and Huey's email address. And now I can come in, I would fill out the subject and the message line, and then I'm gonna click on next. And this is gonna take me into the actual document where you'll see pre-populated are already Donald and Daffy's initials and signatures where this needs to be. So you can see up here in the top left, there's a drop-down box that shows Donald is yellow. It's gonna show Daffy is blue or aqua there. However, we do have Huey as a third recipient. So I can click on Huey's name, and then you can see all of my options turned here to purple. So I would just have to drop in another set of initials. I'll just put them right between the two. I'm gonna click on this top little, uh, top left dot to resize this. I'll make it kind of similar to the size of the other ones. And then the nice thing is, is I can hit Control C to copy this. When I come down to the next page, I can actually hit Control V and it's gonna drop it right where I had the one on the first page. So it doesn't make it pretty simple. Control V again, Control V again, Control V again. You kind of see what this process looks like. I'm just dropping Huey's initials in with Donald and Daffy's so that I get three sets of initials. And then I need to draw in another buyer signature. So I would just click on signature and I would just have to squeeze it in right here in the center. And I'm gonna drag over date signs and put that one right between the two as well. So now when I send this off and you can see in recipient preview as well, I now have an option for Huey's signatures, for Daffy's and for Donald's. So when I sent that off, uh, once I get done with the preview, right, so I can come through here and you can see Huey is being asked to initial right between where Donald would be and Daffy would be. So if I come back into the envelope, I would click on send and it would send this document to Donald, to Daffy and to Huey for all three of them to sign. So that's basically the way that you get those third sets of initials. It does take a little bit more work, but you know, working with three buyers or three sellers, four buyers, four sellers, it's gonna require a little bit more work either way. So 
um, you know, just something we got to do when we're working with large parties as compared to just one or two. If you did have that fourth buyer, say it was two couples, again, same thing. I could come down here. I could add in um, Huey Dewey Duck, right? D E W. And do the same exact thing. I would put in Dewey's email. And then when I come back to the next, because I've added a fourth party, I can click on next. And it's now going to give me the opportunity to not only put in Huey's information, but Dewey's as well. So I would have to drag in both initials. So you can see Huey's already in there because I already dropped his in. Now I'd have to bring Dewey. So let me click on Dewey and then drag his initials over kind of to the side. So finding the space to fit them all in, that's good. I'll leave that up to you guys. Uh, but that's how you would drag in that fourth set. You go through and do exactly what we just did for Huey. And then you would have all four sets of initials and signatures on your document. So that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, how to add a third or fourth party to your documents within DocuSign uh, for use in KW Command. Hope you're all having a great day and are looking forward to a fantastic week. Thanks so much.